My name is Andres Lopera. I come from Colombia, um, and I'm currently the assistant conductor for Colorado Symphony. That means that we work together with the artistic team, and we get to do really great shows conducting this amazing group of musicians. Growing up in Colombia was great. I mean, I grew up in this little tiny town called Don Matias. I got into music thanks to the sponsorship uh, of the government. They had a governmental program, um, and I started playing in a band, and I started discovering the beauties of music, being able to travel to different towns, so that started to broaden my perspective of the country and the cultural diversity and I started feeling that music can touch people in different ways and just really get to the core of humanity, just being you know, part of something and, and relating to that, that music that is around us. And for me to be invited to come here and to now have the job uh, as one of the conductors in the team for the Colorado Symphony is a huge privilege. Colorado has been amazing. It's, it's been a really great place. I, um, like everything that is happening with the orchestra and outside too. I mean, it's great to be able to just get in my bicycle and go to the concert hall, have a great rehearsal with a fantastic orchestra, get in my bicycle again and go back home. <laughs> it's kind of, when I do that, it seems a little bit surreal. It's like, wow. Uh, but yes, it's been good. It's a very active, very uh, sporty city and it's really nice to be around all that energy constantly. When you go to the concert hall, you see sometimes the musicians are in farther right or the farther left or the farther back. Um, sometimes acoustically it's difficult for them to relate or to listen to each other. So there's a leader that is the conductor uh, moving the orchestra along, getting all of those pieces of the puzzle together. Um, we are there to just be as, as, as helpful to the musicians as possible, but also we help a lot in creating the programming together with our artistic team and we start looking into what's happening with the community to bring pop artists or to do some video game music or to do different kind of programming. So it's kind of like different hats that you have to wear, but uh, especially the conducting part of it is for me amazing because you as the conductor, you are the leader of the orchestra, you're in that moment for that concert, you gotta make sure that everything is in the right place at the right time, something beautiful. Average day of conducting this, it just it varies week to week so much. I mean, there's a lot that you have to do at home because you have to, first of all, first and foremost, learn the music. You gotta learn all the scores and really know all of that. So most of it, you do it at home with your piano and with the music that is around you. So it's really, kind of thinking a lot in the music and what you're going to do with it. People think, may think that uh, symphony orchestras are not the most approachable or that it used to be that it was kind of like the snob thing to do, that you have to be in certain social class or something. But uh, I want to tell everybody, and especially our Latino population too, that we are accessible. We want to, especially Colorado Symphony, does amazing things to involve everybody in the community. Orchestral music is the best thing that you can give it to your kids right now. It's the best thing that public schools and schools can bring into their classrooms. You get to connect your muscle memory that you have to do to play an instrument with your audio memory that is the music that you're reproducing with your visual memory that is what you are playing right now because you have to read it and you have to be surrounded by a group and look into a conductor or a leader that is going gonna, is gonna to be there to make everything happen too and all of that while creating amazing music. Being and having that time where you are just learning an instrument and being able to create and just be expressive, be creative. Now the world is changing so much, so rapidly thanks to creativity and creativity is, it happens learning music, learning the arts and all of these it's expressed also with what we do in Colorado Symphony, especially what happens in our youth concerts where we tell the story of the music, we show what, what's happening in the music, and, and we engage the kids into what's happening with the orchestra. It's important to expose them to that, 
but also the most important thing, expose them to an, to an acoustic instrument, to, to let's say a piano or a, a violin, um, a viola, a cello, or woodwind instruments, brass instruments. It always is gonna help and, and the group settings of creating music together also helps that collaborative kind of sense that we need so much in society now.